Hello cave dwellers, welcome to the cave for an evening of, well, some terrible acting, I'm going to be honest with you. Hopefully some good games along the way, and an adventure the likes of which you've never seen before. This is RMC Live! <laughs> this episode is supported by MonsterJoysticks.com. Level up your Raspberry Pi with our all-in-one arcade kit using genuine Sanwar arcade parts. And OneClickPrint.com for your photos on canvas, acrylic, gifts and more local craftsmen and global delivery. Neil! Neil, I can't do this, Neil. Let me give you a hand, Gary. You really are sad Christmas is over, aren't you? I can't help it, Neil. I just love Christmas. I know. <laughs> Here you go. Pop all this back in the box until next year. Whoa, guys, there's a VHS tape here. Whose is this? Andrew, is that one of your specialist tapes? No, mine are all meticulously kept and uh, well looked after. Yeah, should we pop it in and see what's on it? Yes. Let's have a look. Hello cave dwellers, I've been expecting you. Afternoon guys, chat mod Craig here. Guys, whereabouts are you? It's all about the ZX Spectrum. Did you guys have ZX Spectrums? I did growing up, yeah. I didn't. Mm -hmm. I had friends with Spectrums though. You had friends with, I, I, the same. I had an Amstrad CPC. I used to go to Darren's, I used to go to Jamie's, and I used to go to Mike's to get my ZX Spectrum well, I used fix. To Simons and Matthews. Simons and Matthews. Yes. And you've got a big ZX Spectrum collection, haven't I have you, Gary? Pretty big collection, yeah. yeah. Not as big as my Atari ST collection, but, but a nice yeah. collection. Big old collection. And you would have seen Gary's collection if you saw the retro road trip. Um, to, to Gary's house where we saw his collection. So, um, I think we need to find out exactly what Derek Findus has done to us and how the hell we're going to get out of this place, whatever this is. Derek, explain yourself. I'm Derek Findus, and by playing the tape you've found yourself trapped in my world. Now... Uh, are you a wizard? No, I'm not a wizard. Shut up, Gary. As I was saying, now you're trapped here forever. But it's not all bad. I'm here. And for if some reason you did want to leave, there's only one way out. By accepting a set of challenges. Now these challenges are playing games and reviewing them to my standards, which are high. If you win, you go home. If you fail, you stay with me forever. A win-win, really. <laughs> Oh guys, I think we need to take stock of the situation. How are we going to meet these challenges? Have we got anything that can help us? I've got my wallet and phone and car keys and that's about it. My pockets are empty. Gary? No, I've got nothing there. Gary? Oh, Where did you get that from? <laughs> oh yeah! What I have you got? Me time. Well... Well, it looks like we've got everything we need. You've got a Spectrum, I've got my mince pie. Let's take the challenge. Let's go for it. Well, we're going to start off with something simple because just looking at you, it doesn't matter. First challenge, chucky egg. Hang on, Derek. Are you sure we can't take this challenge on a Commodore 64? No, Commodore 64. You'll play on a Spectrum and be happy. Commodore 64. Remember, you're small, I could squish you. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I would. But I wouldn't. I pressed number one before. You pressed one yeah, before. Press oh, here we go. So press S to start. R to read. R to read. Thank you. I think when we tried this earlier, it was keys only, yeah, wasn't it? Keys only. Okay, well, Gary, so you play it then. R to redefine keys. Like Gary. <laughs> and I've just set R as you're up. <laughs> oh, no. So some of you are probably wondering. Who is this dastardly Derek Findus character? 
Um, Derek, if you'd be so kind, uh, Gregster, thank you very much for the three pound donation there. Um, Derek, if you'd be so kind as to post a link to your YouTube channel where people can find you, um, please direct your comments uh, to, to Derek. Plead with him, tell him, tell him to set us free. Um, but it's good to see some familiar names here. We've got the Retro Hour. Uh, I don't know if that's Dan or Ravi or both, but thank you for joining us, guys. We've got Ash. We've got Evie Opinion. Hello, Ryan. Thank you for joining us. I don't think anyone noticed either. Oh. <laughs> Uh, we've got DJ Wild UK. Hello from the city of the future. Uh, I must thank you. Ah, oh, the Retro Man Cave Secret Santa for my Chucky Egg T-shirt. I don't know who sent that. You know, I didn't manage the Secret Santa um, and it hasn't been shared who sent what. So I'm glad you got something nice that you enjoyed. Now Derek wants to know what we think of the games, playing them to his standard. Yeah, so uh, as Derek mentioned, we have to review these to his standard and then we have to go back to him. <laughs> see if he's happy, see if he'll set us free. I think, to be honest, what more can you say about Chucky Egg apart from classic? Chucky Egg I had on the Amstrad CPC. I haven't been. Um, do you want some Chucky Egg facts? Yes. And in the chat, if you've got any Chucky Egg facts, <laughs> feel free to throw them in there. What? I know everyone walks around with no. Chucky Egg facts in their head. What was the name of the farmer in Chucky Egg? Uh, Henhouse Harry. Oh, okay. There you go. So, uh, I know that, I have it written down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I'm Chucky Egg, released in 1983, written by a 17 year old Nigel Alderton, published by ANF Software. Uh, it was released first on the ZX Spectrum, the BBC Micro, and the Dragon 32. Ooh. That was Welsh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it was on the Dragon 32. Those, and then it was released on pretty much everything, wasn't it? You could mm. get it on any. It is a good computer. game. It is a good game. The objective is for Henhouse Harry to collect 12 eggs on each level before the time runs out. Seed gives you points. It also pauses the clock, which is counting down. There's the time at the top right there. Um, but it also attracts the hens, know, so you kind of want to leave the seed there oh, well, no. so they don't get you. you. You're progressing through this quite quickly. Well, I'm only on level three, sir. There are, I think there's 44 levels. Uh, three or four rounds, you go through all the levels. So first round is like this, second round, that big oh. bird at the top left chases, hunts you down, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Third round, you've got the big bird and the, the chickens. And then I think the fourth round, it's just the same but quicker. Oh, we got um, I could never get past the second round. Never got to the third round. Got oh. some Chucky Egg trivia from uh, Slopes there, from DJ Slopes. Yay. There you go. The latest Chucky Egg game came out in 2009. Oh, really? On what platform? DJ Slopes laying down the Chucky Egg facts. Oh, hello. Let's put my name in. He's probably got a remix of the soundtrack on vinyl as well. <laughs> <laughs> But if anyone isn't following his channel, do check it out. Slopes Game Room, excellent YouTube channel. Yeah, Slopes recently crossed 100,000 subscribers, so go and check out uh, Slopes Game Room. Dan, feel free to post a link to your channel in here. I've already played the Spectrum version, so I'm going to be fair to the actual gameplay and say if the ladders were more responsive, it would be an 8, but I'm going to give it a 7. 7, so we've got I'm going to change to a 7, actually, because I think the port... Oh, OK. I'm going to go down and see... With Garrett, what Garrett's saying is a game, it's a 9. Yes. But I think maybe the port, it's not quite there. Yeah, so Seven. the ZX Spectrum version specifically loses some points for its lack of physics. Yes. Yeah, and its lack of ray traced rendering. Yes. <laughs> Real time ray traced <laughs> rendering. And no sample speech. Um, what do you guys think? Flocculator says the ladders were much better on the Beeb. Hmm. BBC! Yeah. I mean, the Beeb was great at those chunky yes. graphics. Right, well, let's see if we've passed the test. Let's go back to Derek. And see, Derek, can we go free yet? Mr. Findus, Mr. Findus, how did we do? Yeah, I'll give you that one. It was acceptable. What's our reward for passing this test? Playing the game is the reward. <laughs> and my company. But as you did so well, I'm going to look out another game for you. Guys, guys, I've managed to open a method of communication to help get you guys back. It's Derek Finders, he's kidnapped us, he's bonkers. I'm scared I'm trapped here in 1984 with Neil and Andrew. Gary, Gary, calm down, don't worry. I think this magazine might be able to help us. Do you remember how we used to write into magazines to get help? I think somehow this magazine might be able to help us. We may be able to write a letter. Write a letter to the magazine now. That letter will get read, the solution we presented in the magazine, and then published, which will appear in the copy of the magazine you've got there. Everyone got it? Great, Scott. Stop it. 
Someone write a letter, quick. I wrote a letter! Brilliant. Derek, what? can you post this for us, mate? Yeah, sure, I've got to nip down the post office anyway. I'm sending off for a painted plate of Lady Diana sitting with a collie overlooking a pond. It's a limited edition, there's only 30,000. I'll get going now then. How soon before we see a reply? Well, the timeline, if I remember correctly, should I be pretty quickly. I'd say it'll take as long as Derek's next challenge. His next challenge, perfect. Let's see what he's got for us. But something a little bit trickier this time. Let's play Bugaboo the Flea. tell you about the acting. Is that not the best acting you've ever seen? <laughs> and uh, I saw a very good point made there in the chat. Uh, Gary Ninja says, you guys are complaining about being stuck in 1984. I mean, that's probably the yeah. place we most want to be, isn't it? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> just but, just yes. not Derek's 1984. No, not Derek's version of 1984. <laughs> no, the, the mm. ten foot tall Derek Findus next to us is quiet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, Derek. <laughs> So this is Bugaboo the Flea. Um, Andrew, do you want to play this one? I will have a go. There's only two the keys. Flea, There's it's... only two keys oh, I'm involved. Sorry. I'll probably unplug it at the same is it time. jump left and jump right? Uh, it oh. is. To drown out Andrew's whoa. Oh, oh, this is awful. <laughs> you, you can get good at it, it's possible. I never have, but you can. Oh, I can't. <laughs> Gary, so, uh, take over. Oh, no. I don't want to play it. The future is 8 bit says this game is impossible. I swear it's bugged. <laughs> don't want to play. Uh, Alexander says I'm confused. I don't know much about the Spectrum. Do all the games control with terrible keyboards? A lot of the early games were keyboard. Uh, the computer didn't have a joystick interface built in, but very quickly interfaces became available. Yeah, well, power and then uh, joysticks were supported in games. So you can play a lot of games with joysticks. Um, I don't think this game in, would particularly benefit, actually, from a joystick, because you've only got left and right. I think that works fine on the keyboard. Now, block you later. Um, you win a prize. He says, Roland in the caves. Let me tell you more about this game. Bugaboo the flea. Uh, oh, God, that, that would have Ooh, hurt your that? ears. Wow. Why that did was, that happen? That was a screech. I, I died, mate. You just died. You died? Yeah, I died, yeah. <laughs> That, that simple. I think we've had enough of the game audio. I'll knock that down. We've had enough of the game. <laughs> well, I, I have to say, I really Let like me it. tell you the facts. Uh, 1983 by Quicksilver. It was also called La Polga in Spain, which I might... Is there anyone Spanish here? Is La Polga Spanish for flea? I don't know. Um, but I knew it on my Amstrad as Amsoft's Roland in the Caves. Oh. So you are right, Blockulator. Oh. That's exactly what this game was. Okay, let's uh, let's rate yeah, let's Bugaboo the Fleet. And uh, you guys in chat, let's have your scores out of 10 for Derek. Derek, also give us your score out of 10, as if I don't know what Derek's score out of 10 is going to be. <laughs> Derek, what do you rate this at? Um, I'm going to give this... Uh, I'm going to give it a, a, a 6, because it did keep me coming back playing when I used to have it, but it always frustrated me. Minus 1 million. <laughs> Minus 1 million? <laughs> do you have at least 1. Uh, Dubious says one. It's an ass says two. Cheetah three. Foo Fly nine out of ten. Okay, let's um, let's give our scores to Derek. Um, I, I feel that you guys rating these games, I think you might be helping us here, helping us with the challenge. Uh, hopefully, Derek will take that into account. Should we go back and see what he has to say? Let's see what Derek's got to. Are you enjoying it here, guys? I hope so, because I, I like being a good host. And what's not to enjoy is the 80s. Oh, just think of the things that go on. The ladies. <laughs> There's plenty to choose from. <laughs> For example, what about Judith Chalmers? Oh my word. You know, she travels the world. Oh, amazing. What a haircut. It's like this salt and guys, pepper. Guys, guys, guys. Check the magazine. Have we had a reply to our letter yet? You know, and you probably get you a discount on National Express, which is pretty good, you know. And then there's Annika Bing Rice. It says that we can get Sir Clive Sinclair to eat a curly whirly. We'll be transported. Gary, how many curly whirlies have you got in your bag? Lovely helicopter. Then there's Selena Scott. Of course, she has a haircut like uh, Lady Diana, which is wonderful. You know, it's a good masculine haircut. I like that on a woman. I've always kind of been that way. 
Got five. Five curly wellies, perfect. That's one for each of us, and one for Sir Clive. How the hell are we going to get Sir Clive Sinclair to eat the curly wellies? A car boot sale. So if you ever met her, take her along to a car boot sale. If you're at a car boot sale and she's selling stuff, avoid. She knows what she's doing. Then there's Anne Diamond. She has like a, a bowl cut and shoulder pads. Looks really good. She looks like she's out of a pop video. Leave it with me, so long as you can keep Derek distracted by taking his challenges, I think I might be able to track him down. Jeanette Cranky. Okay, so that's the plan. Let's see what Derek's got for us next. Maybe not. And then there's Sandy Togsvig. No, no, not her either. Oh, BBC2, Jenny Powell. She's absolutely beautiful. What a lovely young... What is it, Jamie? She's 17. Moving on. Your next challenge is a game starring a great man with a great haircut. Eddie Kid in Eddie Kid's Jump Challenge, starring Eddie Kid. Okay. Uh, Eddie Kid's Jump Challenge is the next challenge for us from Derek. Uh, yeah, now now you're talking, says EV Opinion. <laughs> Sorry, a real man's game. <laughs> Um, okay, let me tell you who Eddie Kidd was then. Eddie Kidd was the UK's version of Evil Knievel. Eddie. You've probably all heard of Evil Knievel. So. Uh, yeah, if you see at the bottom right here, we're on oh, a BMX. BMX. Okay, fine. We're on a BMX. Go on. There you go. Um, yeah, he was the UK's version of Evil Knievel. Um, and I think we all pretended to be Eddie Kidd when we were on our BMXs. I know I did. Yes, unfortunately, he's not a well man these days. He's not, we'll come to that. But I had all the gear. I had like the full had crash suit, yeah. crash helmet, BMX. Did you used to do things now on your bike that you would look back and go, God, I was stupid. Yeah, I mean, I rode my BMX until it had no brakes. I think I just took the brakes off. <laughs> so I mostly rode with no brakes. I rode my BMX down the big slide at the park. Nice. Look at that jump. You made, made all the barrels. But in 93, Evil Knievel's son, Robbie, challenged him to a jump challenge. Uh, motorcycle jumps on a pay-per-view event. He won with an accumulated jump. With their jumps being accumulated, he jumped six foot more than oh. Evil Knievel's son. So, Captain yeah, Robbie Knievel. Yep. Those are all the Eddie Kid facts I have for you today. <laughs> I'm gonna go. Joseph, he didn't die doing what he loved. He's still alive today. Um, he did ride a motorbike recently I at an event, I didn't care enough to run but he's, he's not doing one. jumps no, like he used to. Oh, did I completely overdo it? Oops. Um, you just died <laughs> just driving to the other end. <laughs> yes! <laughs> uh, Electron Ash says... Go on, Gary. Oh, sorry, Fair Fight says he had Spokey Dokies. Did you have Spok Spokey Dokies? Spokey Dokies. Spokey Dokies free Shut. in your breakfast cereal. Yes. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, they were, and also the Kellogg's Reflectors. Yeah. Fair Fight says the plus two A with light guns from the Dixons deals. Was that the was that the James Bond deal? You used to be able to get the James Bond pack Whee! with the light gun. Gary! Gary has completely overshot the landing. Yeah. Go, 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 go! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this game's evil and cruel. When I was like eight, when I had my first, got my Spectrum for Christmas, I, think, I went into the shop to buy a game. I didn't know that there was different computers, so... I picked up a cassette for every different system. <laughs> well, you came in with a game well, for every system. Thankfully, the girl behind the counter said, do you own all these systems, do you? Looking at it, I think, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So she saved me, but, I, yeah, so sick. We are an hour into the stream, an hour into the adventure. Uh, if you haven't been paying attention, we've been kidnapped by Derek Findus. He's trapped us in his world. We've got to play his choice of games, like this one up here. There it is. We've got to rate them, and uh, hopefully he'll let us go, unless we find another way of escaping. Um, I fancy making a quick cup of coffee. Should we have a quick tea break Let's before we play? Break. I think Next we should. Time. Okay. Uh, keep asking Derek your questions. He's going to stick around during the tea break. Uh, this is a Derek Findas AMA while we make a quick cup of coffee. We'll be back within five minutes. See you in a second, guys. Right, 
there is a giveaway. It's a Div MMC Future from the Future is 8 bit, which um, it lets you load. Uh, let's get the other camera. It lets you load um, games from an SD card on your ZX Spectrum. It also gives you an extra joystick or a joystick port. It's everything you've ever wanted for your ZX Spectrum. Imagine it's in my hand. I'm going to show you a close up in a minute when I found it. Um, and you've all got a chance. Yeah, so compact you can't see it. Uh, you've all got a chance to win it. All you've got to do is stick around to the end of the stream and then we're going to say competition time. You're all going to put your comments in the chat and we're going to pick a winner. Derek's going to pick a winner completely at random if he's in a good mood. This is all thanks to the future was 8bit.com. We will show you the device in a minute. I don't know where it's gone. Should we see what the next challenge is? Let's go for it. Let's go to Derek. We need to get home. <laughs> we need to get home. We need to find a way back to the present day. Derek, what have you got for us? Craig, Craig, if you can hear us, have you made any progress getting hold of Sir Clive Sinclair? A friend requested him, but he's not responding. Only there was like some way of getting a message through to him. Did you try poking him? A poke? What a brilliant idea! You're right, guys. Remember with ZX Spectrums, you used to type your peaks and your pokes in to cheat with your games? A poke is exactly what Sir Clive Sinclair would respond to. Okay, then I'm going to try it. Did anything happen? I'm not sure, but I feel a bit odd, guys. Hey, what's going on down there? Is there something I should know about? Because if you were, for example, trying to escape, it would be bad. I don't know what, I haven't really thought that far ahead, but it would be bad. <laughs> no, sir, we're on our best behaviour. Good, that's what I like to hear. Anyway, for your next challenge, we're going to really up the game. Ye are Kung Fu, as we pronounce it in Scotland. You're Kung Fu! <laughs> but I digest. Ye are Kung Fu. Ye are Kung Fu, as uh, <laughs> Derek calls it. <laughs> Like sitting next to Rory Bremner. <laughs> put it on Wait until I do my Phil Cool faces. <laughs> um, go for it, Andrew, if you can figure out how to play Ya Kung Fu. Press one, I believe, sir. Oh, no, you have got the game big on screen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, would you like? Would you like to see the actual game? <laughs> there we go. This is why we need producer Craig here. Um, <laughs> chat mod Craig is in the uh, text chat there. And. Um, Craig couldn't make it today because of the snow. No, because um, Derek because he's bring not us... in our world. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, he would have been dealing with the transitions for us. But uh, you can blame me. You can blame me for poor transitions. Baza has sent a poke it's there. So booty. We are. I like the fact that when you're jumping, though, the stars pass right through you without hurting uh, you. Yes. Well, that's the magic of dancing and jumping. <laughs> I'm just doing a lot of jumping. Nostalgic, Scores in the chat room. Greg says six out of ten. Peter sixty-five. Phil five. Andrew, what was your score? Mine. Yes, yeah. seven. Seven. Mm. The future was eight bit. Eight out of ten. Electron Ash. Not with lube. I think that's a different conversation he's having there. Fair fight. Only three out of ten. Three out of ten there. Fair fight is a fussy kind of guy, though, isn't he? Uh, nine out of ten. Solid five. <laughs> Four out of ten from Blue Nose. Howard there with a seven, yeah, seven point five. Rob's going into well, a decimal place. Floating points. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's a spectrum. It's a spectrum. Yeah, <laughs> floating points. You're crashing our PC again. We found it. Yeah. We Under found the, the Div MMC. Uh, this is the Div See MMC through. future from the. It's the magic. It's a magic future one. Future was eight well, bit com. It's a magic one with a slightly. Look at that green screening happening on there. And stick around for this next scene. It's a good one. Are you ready? Are you ready, Gary? Oh, I'm getting there. I'm a bit <laughs> nervous. <laughs> Let's see if we can escape from Derek's world. Well done, chaps. That was really good. I'm a bit of a martial arts expert myself. I have an orange belt. And I've never missed an episode of The Master starring Lee Van Cleef. That's my favourite move. That's Tiger Claws. Yeah. Derek, playing Yi Kung Fu has given me an idea. If Gary here challenges you to a fight, do you think we might win our freedom? A fight? I'll take on anyone. But no hitting in the face. Or in the chest. I've got very soft bones. Let's do this.
Take a close. Take a close. <laughs> Take a close. Gary! You haven't got your headbands. <laughs> okay, you see what I'm capable of. You've all been warned. Here, Jamie, did you see what I did there? When Gary wasn't looking, I heroically punched him in the back of the neck. <laughs> Craig, we're getting our backsides handed to us here. We? Oui. Guys, there's been a development since we last spoke. I went to do my hair and I got something of a shock when I looked in the mirror. Poking Sir Clive, well it it turned me into Sir Clive. That's perfect. How is that in any way perfect? Don't you see? All we have to do now is get you to eat the curly whirly and we can find our way back. He's right. But how are we going to get a curly whirly 30 years into the future? You are great, isn't it? And you have over 20,000 ZX Spectrum games to play. Oh, even the text adventures. Anyway, your next challenge, Saber Wolf. Wolf? 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 That game. Oscar! Mm. Oscar! <laughs> <laughs> Wow, good fighting there, Gary. It was. I tried. <laughs> Andrew. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, oh. Saber Wolf. Saber Wolf is the next game that uh, Derek has chosen. Let's bring the music back in and let's make sure we're full screen for the gaming. Mm. Uh, that doesn't look like Saber Wolf, does it? <laughs> that looks like we'll, corrupted we'll Saber Wolf. We'll reset it and we'll load it up again. Mm. Oh. oh, is that right? Oh, I think we've got problems with Saber Wolf, you know. Derek, Hang what, what happens in this situation? Switch the port and we'll try that. Okay, switch the port and we'll try on the chemistry. Okay. So that's what we did last time. Cross your fingers. No! no. Saber Wolf! Uh, yeah, it must be the copy protection. Derek, Derek! <laughs> what do we do when the game doesn't work? Pick something else. Ooh. It's a good job we've got some backup games, Derek. They travelled through time with us. Would you like a little bit of the audio? I don't think oh, the music no, plays during the game. It does. Rob, it Rob plays makes a good stop. <laughs> Rob makes a good point there, though. The Spectrum Next interests him because he'd like to see if it creates a new demo, a new demo scene. Yeah, that would be awesome. I thought you could press M to stop the music. No, you there you go. Enter. <laughs> could have killed me. Yeah, you just press Enter to stop the music. So we'll have a little bit of that, a little bit of our own music. There we go. Well, it's like uh, ASMR Manic Minor. Oh no, I messed up again. We're in the mix. DJ Slopes would be proud of us here. He would be. Oh, Mac 84, come on. Music sounds like a bunch of bugs. <laughs> Don't make us turn the music back on. <laughs> it's hard to say. I think back in the day, I would have said this was a nine. Yeah. But maybe with modern eyes, I don't know how it holds up. Right. Maybe a six. Maybe I'm going to give it a nine. Um, it's just got too much nostalgic value for me. I can't remember what computer he programmed it on because he had the computer and then he made up a wire to go into the back of the ZX. Was it an Amstrad? It wasn't an Amstrad. No. That was the, um, I want to say the Chuckle Brothers. Oliver Brothers. The Oliver, Oliver Twins. Twins. Yeah, <laughs> she used Amstrad. It was a very good um, developer for the time. And that was good because that meant all of their games, there was a good version of it on the Amstrad, not so, a was, shoddy. Was it wasn't Atari Android, was it a BBC? No. Um, a TRS-80. Uh, Thank you, Christian. Uh, 
He had a TRS-80, and you often see a picture of him with his wild hair. Yes. That is TRS-80 yes. and his big woolly jumper. And hello to Retro Gaming Denmark. Saying hello from Denmark. Hello, hello Denmark. Can we have your score, please? <laughs> your scores, please, Denmark, for your... No, this is not Eurovision. <laughs> I think this game will always hold a place in specky owner's hearts. Yeah. Good. Well, thank you for your scores. A lot of you not that impressed. Um, I think there's a divide there between those who have played it and those who have just witnessed it. And I think those who have just watched us play it very badly are giving it lower scores mm. than those who have experienced it for themselves, perhaps. It's, it's worth a play. If you haven't played it, I would recommend playing it and just, you know, having a little, like, five minutes of fun. Yeah. Okay, well, that was supposed to be Sabre Wolf, but it was Manic Miner. I forgot about Sabre <laughs> <laughs> um, Right, well. Please ignore any. Derek, I hope that was good enough for you. Um, and I hope maybe, maybe we've earned our freedom. Maybe we've sneakily found our way out, as we've been doing in the previous scenes. <laughs> Let's find out. Derek, are we free? Well guys, I did my best, but thanks to Trevor, we failed. It was good knowing you and all that, but you're not going to get back. Wait, hang on a minute, guys. C'est moi, Trevor. Je suis un organisme cybernétique, de la chair vivante sur un endosquelette de métal. You're a joystick. Je ne suis pas ici pour vous tuer, Sir Clive, mais ceci pourrait. C'est un Curly Whirly de 34 ans d'âge que vous devrez manger pour sauver vos amis des mains de Derek Findas. Mangez-le. I'm sensing a disturbance in the time field, whatever that is. What are you lot up to? You did it. You actually figured a way out of the tape. Well done, you. From the way you dressed, I just didn't think you had it in you. But you did it. One more thing, though. Get your viewers to choose the final game to review. Once it's played and reviewed, up to my standards of course, you can have your freedom. But no text adventures, they're rubbish. <laughs> oh, Jamie, have you seen them? They're hilarious. They all look... <laughs> What's on? Well... <laughs> well, um... Yes. We've kind of found our own way out. <laughs> yes. But uh, we haven't gone through the portal yet. Take that, Findus. Take that, Findus. The door is open. Yes. But uh, we're going to play your game. We're going to play your game a little bit more. Um, and that's because he told us to take viewers' requests. So what's going to happen here is these guys are going to entertain you while I take <laughs> the memory card, uh, stick a game on it, unless you want a game that's already on there. Rodman! Rodman! These guys are going to play Rodman while I put the game of your yes, choice. How can we... No, we can't uh, Richard, that's a good... Yes. That's a good amount, Richard. One ninety nine, the price of all classic yeah. Masters. Richard, how can we play Rodman if you're taking the SD card out where Rodman's on it? Because it will stay in memory. Yay. Oh, that's clever. That's the theory. We'll oh, find out if that yes. theory works. It sees everything, the whole system implodes. And if it all goes wrong... <laughs> <laughs> so everyone in the chat, please put in your request for the ZX Spectrum game that you would like us to play. Pong will not be accepted as a choice, Jamie Phillips. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Denmark. Question to the chat. Procedurally generated games. What's the earliest one you can think of? Neat. That wasn't... Well, it wasn't random. It, it used a seed to procedurally mm. generate it, but it was the same universe for everyone, was. wasn't it? So, Some yeah, it, it works. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Blockulator says the same. It's procedural, but not random. Yeah. Rogue? I'm not familiar with Rogue. It's hack, no hack. Sen Sentinel was the very strange game. It was about not being you know, seen right? by the Sentinel. That's right, the eye. That's it. it was good. Once you've got worked out how to play it, it was a really good game. But it, it was 
released by BT owned Firebird Software. Yeah. And it was a game with a prize in it, because I remember we had an edition and it had a, a like a form you'd fill in, sorry. And you get a code when you completed the game and you could enter. Oh, okay. Cash oh, right. prize. Well, ZX Renew puts a really good suggestion up there. Mike Singleton's Lords of Midnight. Yeah. Great game. Mm. Great game. Okay, should we try Airwolf? I'll play some Airwolf. I'll play some You play Airwolf, Airwolf sir. I'll you try show anyway. Show us how it's done. Well, well, yeah, badly. You got it. You're all singing along at home, I know. I know this bit. That's right, actually. That's how it goes. It goes higher. Uh, Mr. Travis has made a patch which adds the Airwolf music, so we uh, oh, thank you, Mr. it. Um, oh no, not an elite game, says ZX okay. Renew. Sorry, I was reading that. The font is so bad where it says Cetus Chat. <laughs> <laughs> right, do you have to use your keyboard or can you use Oh, if it's it? keyboard you're playing, so I'll plug the blue thing. Press the fire button, sir. I got this. You got it, have you? Come on. Oh, do you remember? It. Okay, guys, do you remember Auto Man? I remember Auto Man. I yeah. don't remember Auto Man. No, I remember Auto Man. Auto Man was a holographic computer generated crime fighter, and he <laughs> um, could only appear at night to start off with because of the power required no, to create like him. It. The guy creating him was called Walter Nebica. Right. The character was, and he was a police computer expert because he was too rubbish to be a beat cop. And he used to have a sidekick called Cursor. He was a little Absolutely. Cursor Absolutely. who could fly around and he could also transform into the auto chopper and the auto car and other bits of equipment. <laughs> <laughs> See, I remember all this. And there were only 13 episodes of it. Derek, we want to stay here. Send Andrew home. <laughs> <laughs> Derek, can I stay in the 80s, please, and watch Auto Man with you? Right, we're going to leave Andrew behind. <laughs> Um, oh, we're talking about Manimal now. I'm not even going to talk about Manimal. <laughs> right. Any tips on playing this? Well, um, don't. Don't play it because it's horrendous. I don't understand it. I just don't. Right, so we've got to get through this, right? Yeah. Any tips in the chat? How do we get through this? Have, like, Superman type, oh, basically the powers of Superman. But he, lo he lost the manual in the yes! desert. Yes! He lost the manual for the suit. Three, ta three oh, times. What is this? What? You're doing it, you're doing it! Yeah, but what am I doing? I don't know, kill that. Oh, maybe you have to go right and down quickly. Oh, Ash, I don't know about Littlest Hobo. Yeah, okay, quick, quick, quick. Keep keeps on calling cool. me. <laughs> <laughs> right, you think I can go, I can beat it? I think, <laughs> like this one. no, no I go to left the and then go to the bottom and then... Cara oh. Van Park says, I love this episode of Airwolf with the recurring blue wall. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> We all remember. But I think, we can all, I think we can all agree, from those of us who watched Airwolf, it's better than any episode in season four. <laughs> right, that, uh, enough of Airwolf. Let's go to one, one last game. There they are. Now I've got to go down there and get the fuel. I missed that. Was it. TNG 80? It was. TNG was 1987. Uh, yeah, but unfortunately, uh, T Mophy, I would say that. The TNG of the late 80s was bad, the first two seasons of it yeah. were horrendous. Well, the first season, I think. Oh, the second season, season two, was no, Season okay, two was bad, Dr. You Plastic. guys are Trekkies, aren't you? I'm not. I'm yeah. absolutely not a Trekkie. TNG was The awesome. first season is very cringy yeah. now. I didn't think Well, it the first was. season and some of the scripts of the second season were borrowed, recycled scripts from the failed project Star Trek Phase 2. Yeah. Isn't um, Picard coming back in a new series? He is. Yes. Are we? Is this a good thing? Are I we excited know, about this? I hope it's a good thing. Yeah, it, it, I want it to be a good thing. I want it to be I'm a good thing. I'm not getting my hopes up at all. I don't trust anyone these days. Yay! Well on now. Escaped in my rocket. Oh, is the Guru Meditation here or not? At no. Guru Meditation. I haven't watched your video yet. If so, hello Bill. Great to see you. Um, Sounds painful, the latest video you've been working on, Bill. Um, I saw the picture you tweeted out where you've been crawling on your hands and knees all day filming an Amiga. <laughs> no, Dr. Pulaski, the actress who had the most famous on-screen deaths ever uh, in L.A. Law, where she fell down the lift shaft. Ah, I don't know. I've not seen L.A. Law. Uh, in L.A. Law, um, I think it's Diana Mulder is the actress who played her. 
had a very famous on-screen TV death where she's having an argument with someone in a skyscraper. Right. Oh, the door's open for the lift, yeah. and the lift isn't there. The doors oh. are just open, and you just hear this is Bing, and goes, ah! And go falling. <laughs> very famous, very funny, and it's on YouTube, so I'll look for that later. Mr. Cool Dean says, easily one of the best of the stream. I'd agree. It's simple. I mean, earlier, we Crash said, uh, what game was it said was arcade perfect. It was Bugaboo the yeah. Flea, wasn't it? This, in 1983, you could have put in an arcade cabinet. You could have put Williams on the front of it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and people would have pumped money into it all day long. I would have pumped money. Right, let's see if we can escape from yes. the world of Derek Findus. And, uh, and then stick around for the giveaway. Are we going to do it? Let's do Feeling it. Feeling brave? Need to, um, I need a wee, so if we have <laughs> That was pretty good, actually. Well done. Okay, you have your freedom, guys. I'll just make it happen. Ooh. I'm not sure how it works. Ooh. That was fun, wasn't it? Yeah. I'd like to thank the Retro Man Cave team for inviting me along and putting me through that. But once you're finished watching these guys, head over to my channel, the Derek Findas Archive, where there's nothing but me. Lucky you. Until then, I'm Derek Findas, and I'm sit- oh yeah, it's not my channel, it's rubbish, I'm out of here. Oh, guys, get Gary home, you know what it's like when it's past his bedtime. Hmm, what's this? <laughs> I think we made it. I think, we've I think we made it, did we? Yay! <laughs> We're back in the cave. We made it. We escaped. Derek and Ash, you recognise that voice. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Big thanks to... DJ Slopes. DJ Slopes from Slopes Game Room. He's picked up the cassette. He's in trouble. Uh, I think the only way we can save DJ Slopes uh, is by inviting him to the next live stream. We've got lots of thank yous. <laughs> We've got lots of thank yous. You're very uh, welcome, guys. It's, uh, we hope you have as much fun watching our silliness as we have doing it. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun making this episode. We've got to say a massive thank you to Derek Findus oh, yes. from the Derek Findus Archive. Let's have that link in the chat. Um, oh, Gary's got the 10 out of 10 rating. We've got 9 out of 10 oh. as hosts. I love you, Howard. Uh, <laughs> do please, 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 and don't go away because we've still got the giveaway. Make sure you subscribe to Derek Findus. I think he has about 300 subscribers on YouTube. I think he's the best thing on YouTube. I think he's absolutely <laughs> brilliant. He puts out a five minute video every Sunday. Um, it's not. It's not about the games, it's about Derek. <laughs> <laughs> it is all about Derek. This episode it is Derek. Is. Yeah. So, uh, Derek Findas. So Derek go Findas. and subscribe to Derek, he's well worth it. Yeah, go give him a sub. Now, Derek, you've got to pick a winner, mate. Let's get a close up on this. Everybody, in five seconds in the chat, I want you to say Derek Findas rocks or some other Derek Findas compliment. That's right. And he will pick. A winner. Who gets this? Three, two, two one, one, go! <laughs> Are we going to do the end credit? No, I just want to do the one. This is where we realise Derek's. <gasps> oh, Simon Hardin! Well done, Simon! The winner is Simon Hardin! David, glad you dropped in. Um, we've got a little treat for you now in the credits. Just a little bit extra. Um, thank you, guys. Andrew, Gary, thank you for coming. DJ Slopes, Thanks thank you for us. your little cameo there. Thanks, Derek Sam. Findus, subscribe to him. Thank you, Derek. See you at the next RMC Live. Follow me on Twitch for casual streams. Subscribe to me on YouTube, all that stuff. And um, keep enjoying your retro gear, guys. Love you guys. Take care. It's Derek Findus. He's kidnapped us. He's bonkers. I'm scared. You're trapped. Oh, <laughs>
you put your back to the camera. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got to look at you. Derek, how long before we see a reply? No! We're not, telling, <laughs> we're not telling Derek about our plan to escape. So, that's Gary's life. That's my life. That's my life. <laughs> <laughs> I think we might win our freedom. Oh, I did it wrong, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Trevor! Oh, no! no. Oh. I didn't know when to pop up because he stopped counting. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs>